Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us today. I'm Hazima Mozam, and I welcome you uh, with my colleagues at ICCBS, Dr. Hena, uh, to an exciting lecture organized by Comstech. Uh, this lecture will be delivered by Dr. Sajjad Jafri. Dr. Jafri is from Iran, and he is uh, basically a biomedical uh, engineer. And uh, the title of his uh, topic today is Mega Stability Definition and Its Relation with Multi Stability, uh, Extreme Multi Stability, and hid Hidden Attractors. Uh, we are very grateful to Dr. Jaffrey for giving us time today. Uh, with this, I would like to invite Professor Dr. Iqbal Chaudhary, Coordinator General Comstech, and Director ICCBS, uh, to introduce our guest speaker today. And um, before we go to Dr. Uh, Chaudhary, I request our participants to please keep their uh, mics on mute when uh, we have speakers uh, on the panel speaking. Uh, with this, sir, please introduce our guest speaker today. Assalamualaikum, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished speaker. Uh, it's such a delight to see a young uh, scholar presenting this uh, lecture today. And uh, this is a great idea of, uh, of Ms. Khazima in Comstack that uh, we should uh, start uh, presenting the best of, of the talents from the Muslim world. So the key objective is to uh, initially uh, introduce uh, our young scholars who have received prestigious Comstack Prize. I want to remind you that Comstack uh, is OIC's Science and Technology Cooperation Committee, comprises of 57 ministers of state of science and technology. So it's a very large body. And uh, uh, since long, it has been recognizing the contributions of scholars, of uh, especially young scholars, uh, based on peer review. And in the process, we have identified lots of uh, gems stars of, uh, of uh, uh, the skies of science and knowledge. And I'm very pleased that today we are discussing mathematics. You know, Often we have uh, lectures on biomedical sciences or health sciences and other sciences, but perhaps equally important is mathematics. There is a very famous saying that mathematics is uh, the uh, mother of all uh, all sciences, and this is extremely important that we have someone of his stature. Uh, and uh, he uh, is, of course, working beyond that. He is working on various aspect, uh, aspects of mega stability, multi stability, and hitting attractors. So, Sayyid Sajjad Jafri was born, Sajjad Jafri was born in Kirmansha historical city of Iran in 1983, a very young fellow. His, he received his Bachelor of Science and Master of Science as well as PhD degree in biomedical engineering. I'm sorry, I uh, misunderstood. I think there was a lecture on mathematics earlier, but we have someone with biomedical engineering background uh, and then he has received his PhD in 2005, 2008 and 2010. 13, BSc, MSc, and PhD is a very uh, consistent and effective uh, progression of his career. And he got this degree from the Medical Engineering Department, Amir Kabir University of Technology, Tehran Polytechnic, which is itself a very prestigious name in the universities in OICD region. He is currently an assistant professor in, uh, in that particular university, his alma mater. His research interests include nonlinear and chaotic systems and signals and mathematical biology. So very much related to a lot of interesting biomathematical bio uh, uh, solutions of problem. He is interested in complex networks and collective behaviors in them, such as synchronization, camera state, and spiral waves. He served as an editor in Traction Journal of Bio Furcation and chaos. Very interesting topic. International Journal of Electronics and Communication and Radio Engineering. So he has been associated with scientific publication also. He has been one of the highly cited researchers in 2019 and 2020, according to 
Calibet uh, Analytics. He also has won Comstock Prize in Mathematics in 2019. So his work broadly in the field of application of mathematical sciences and biomedical engineering is something extremely interesting. Uh, I, as the coordinator general of Comstock, are extremely proud. Uh, I am extremely proud to see one of the recipients of Comstock Prize delivering this lecture. So I, uh, with that, I would like to invite Professor Dr. Jaffrey for his presentation. Thank you very much. I'm so honored to be here and invited by, by you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alihi Muhammad wa sahbihi. This, uh, first of all, I want to thank you and uh, thank uh, Pakistan or brother country uh, for organizing uh, such a thing that uh, awarding uh, scientists in Islamic world. Uh, it is a, a very great uh, and a nice move uh, and uh, I like it a lot. I have received many awards uh, but uh, none of them is as precious as this one. Uh, I am very, very honored to receive uh, this award, which is related to Islamic countries. You know, uh, many people cannot see the science progress and advancement uh, in Islamic world, even by killing Muslim scientists. And uh, very recently, in some days ago, uh, a great scientist uh, of not only Iran, but in all the Islam world, uh, was killed by uh, such non-human beings. Uh, it is my honor to be at your service as uh, a Muslim scientist and uh, in Islam world. Uh, you know, uh, my uh, I have some uh, uh, areas of research in my career. Uh, I work in chaos and nonlinear dynamics, especially in uh, with applications in uh, biology and modeling biological systems. And I work in complex networks and networks of oscillators and collective phenomena uh, emerging in them. Uh, one of my main uh, lines of research is a special chaotic systems. Uh, I, I've started my career, uh, especially in this field under the supervision of uh, my PhD supervisor, Professor uh, Said Mohammad Reza Hashemi Golfaigani and uh, my advisor, Professor Julian Clinton Sprott uh, from uh, USA, Wisconsin. Uh, so, uh, I think uh, my best uh, and most valuable works uh, have come from this line of research. And uh, I especially thank Professor Esperot for guiding me and teaching me. The topic of the title of our uh, talk today is Mega Stability. And uh, beside it, uh, I want to talk about uh, multi-stability, extreme multi-stability, and hidden attractors and their relation with each other. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, maybe some of you are familiar with uh, this topic, but as a very brief introduction, I should say that uh, I should say that uh, consider a landscape like this. Uh, as you can see, there are some stable attractors in this landscape. Uh, here we have an stable attractor. Here, here we have one stable attractor. And here we have another stable attractor. Uh, which means if you have, a, for example, ball, the ball converts to that attractor and remain in there uh, fixed and without further movement. Every attractor has a basin of attraction. For example, this attractor has the largest basin between the, uh, the, the, uh, these three attractors. What is the basin of attraction? It is the area in which you, if you put the initial condition of your system, 
uh, you converge to one specific attractor. So for this attractor, this area is its basin of attraction. As you can see, this attractor has a small basin of attraction, and this one has a average has an average uh, basin of attraction. Uh, the topic of multi-stability is a very important topic. As an example, uh, for example, consider this paper. It is only published five years ago by Professor Estrot and Professor Chumbiaoli, my dear friend. And you can see this paper has received uh, 135 citations only in five years, which is a noticeable attention. Uh, in chaotic systems, many chaotic systems are multi-stable. When I talk about multi-stability, my focus in, is, in, is, in, is on uh, multi-stability in chaotic systems. So consider this simple chaotic system, which is a modified version of Rassler system. So uh, you can see two coexisting attractors, one showed by red color and one by green color. And uh, the, you can see the corresponding basin of attraction, uh, each color for uh, each attract. Uh, Multi-stability has some uh, sub sub important subcategories. One very important recently introduced subcategory is extreme multi-stability. What is the, its definition? Extreme multi-stability is the coexistence of an uncountable infinity of attractors. The one of the, I think, the, um, the most important group uh, in the world which works on uh, extreme multi-stability systems is a group in uh, Changzhou, China, uh, we are supervised by Professor Bo Cheng Bao. They have many precious works about uh, extreme multi-stability. Uh, what is extreme multi-stability? Systems with extreme multi-stability have uncountable attractors changing by initial conditions. You can see here, uh, it is a um, common bifurcation diagram. It is very familiar for people who work in, dynam uh, in dynamical systems. However, here, uh, it is not a parameter of the system, but it is the initial condition of the fourth state W. So, an initial condition play the role of a parameter. So by changing initial condition, you can have uh, many qualitatively different attractors. For example, limit cycles or chaotic attractors. So this is called extreme multi-stability. But what is the difference between extreme multi-stability and mega-stability? Mega-stability is the coexistence of a countable infinity of attractors. So uh, they are not uncountable and continuous, but they are separated and countable. The uh, first time this uh, phrase used, it was in a paper by Professor Estrut, me, Professor Khalaf, and Professor Kapitaniak in our paper. So uh, uh, it was the first time this term mega stability was used. Consider this system, you can see that it is a very simple autonomous uh, system. Uh, it is a two dimensional system. Mm, oh, uh, this system has only one equilibrium in the origin. If you calculate it, it can be calculated very easily. However, you can see that there are many coexisting attractors. Uh, the number of such attractors are infinite. However, uh, I only have plotted four of them. If you uh, make the window larger, you can see many, many more coexisting limit cycles. So this is a mega stable system. Adding a driving force to this system uh, results in having more complex dynamical behaviors uh, as you can see, uh, with proper choosing of parameters A and omega, you can have coexisting chaotic attractors and torus attractors. And uh, here is the basin of attraction corresponding to 
these are tractors. Uh, there is another type of mega stable system mega stable systems are divided into two groups the first uh, group is the is those that uh, the number of attractors is not associated with the number of equilibria of the systems like the previous like this system this system has only one equilibrium but it has infinite number of attractors the second type is those that the number of equilibria is associated with the number of attractors. As an example, this system proposed by Professor Lee and Professor Esprot, you can see the equations. It has infinite number of equilibrium point and infinite number of attractors associated with those equilibria. This is the second type of uh, mega stable system. Uh, we, I can uh, show other examples of me mega stable systems type one. Mm, that, that is the mo more interesting one because the number of attractors is not related to the equilibria. They are, uh, uh, they are harder to produce uh, in simulations. So uh, I, I present some more example, consider this system, you can see it has uh, again infinite number of uh, coexisting limit cycle. If you go to the right or go to the left, you can find more and more limit cycle. Or another example, you can see this system has uh, islands of coexisting attractor. Each island has uh, five, uh, each island is a pack of five limit cycle. And uh, we have infinite number of such islands. In the previous system, if you add a driving force, uh, again, you can uh, receive uh, more complex solutions, including uh, Kias and uh, Toros attractors. So you can see that uh, the previous islands uh, in, the, in the previous islands, we saw five limit cycles in each pack. However, some of them merged to each other. And here we can see two strange attractor instead of those five limit cycles. So uh, another important topic uh, in my research, which is related to multi-stability and mega-stability is the topic of hidden attractors. Uh, first, we should uh, we should discuss why fixed point and equilibria are important in finding attractors. Consider a general continuous dynamical system, uh, an autonomous one. You can see uh, such systems are described by the velocity equations. Uh, the velocity of each state uh, uh, is defined, so we have a dynamical system. Uh, you know, uh, the average value of each velocity obviously should be zero because if the average value of the velocity of any state is non-zero, that state drifts to infinity and uh, that state will be unbounded. So, uh, and we are never interested in unbounded solutions in studying dynamical systems. So, uh, it, uh, the average value of each velocity should be zero. It means that the average value of the right-hand equations should be zero. You know, the fixed points are the values of the states in which the right-hand equations are exactly zero. I told you that uh, the average value of the right-hand right side equations uh, should be in average zero. So, Certainly, there must be some relation between exactly zero and average zero. The point in which it is exactly zero is a kind of like center of the mass for the for any attractor in which the average value of the right hand equations are zero. So, uh, for example, we uh, consider the Van der Poel equation. Someone to, to ask us 
which one of the following dynamical solutions can be the solution of this attract uh, of this dynamical system so uh, if we want uh, kindly mute your microphone kindly mute your microphone so uh, if you consider this system you uh, here you can see the average value of y should be zero not in this one not in this one and not in this one this happens so the only possible solutions can be solution one solution two and solution four solution four is a fixed point and equilibrium so by investigating the stability of the equilibrium point in this system you can see whether this can happen or not so um, this may be or not solution one and solution two may be possible with further investigation we can discuss about them but uh, it is not the aim of my talk so uh, about 10 years ago professor Leonov and Professor Kuznetsov. Unfortunately, Professor Leonov passed away one or two, two years ago. Uh, he was a very great uh, friend of mine. Uh, Professor Kuznetsov was her uh, former PhD, uh, his former PhD student, and uh, they worked uh, together in St. Petersburg University. They categorize attractors as uh, self-excited and hidden attractors. Uh, they define self-excited attractor as an attractor in which we have at least one equilibrium point in the basin of attraction of that, uh, that attractor. So any attractor which have at least one equilibrium point in its basin, it is called self-excited. If that is not the case, that attractor is hidden. However, almost all of the uh, conventional attractors, almost all of them were self-excited. So uh, finding new attractors which, uh, which were not self-excited, it was a very important discovery in dynamical systems. Uh, when they worked on a Chua circuit, uh, the, by changing the parameters and initial conditions, suddenly uh, they found an attractor that, uh, that was not associated with any equilibrium point. Uh, it, ha it had no equilibrium point in its basin. So uh, they were very excited and they, uh, they thought about that and they categorized dynamical systems according to that. So as I told you, almost all of the uh, famous systems are self-excited. And uh, it, it is very important uh, in finding the attractors. Uh, equilibrium points are very important. But uh, because if an att attractor is self-excited, it means that it has an equilibrium in its basin. So uh, if you want to find attractors of a system, one very easy way is to put the initial conditions uh, in the neighborhood of your equilibrium points and uh, let the system run and uh, see uh, that initial conditions leads to which attractor. In that case, you can find the attractors of a system. However, in, with this procedure, you can find self-excited attractors, not hidden attractors. Uh, a very uh, important uh, paper about hidden attractors. Uh, it was four years ago by uh, Professor Kapitaniak and his student, me, Professor Kuznetsov and Leonov, and Professor Prasak. Uh, it is a complete review about systems with hidden attractors. Anyone interested can uh, find this paper and read it. Uh, many special chaotic systems which have been designed and introduced in the last decade, many of them are, uh, have hidden attractors. <coughs> For example, Dr. V from China, he designed the first uh, dissipative chaotic system with no equilibrium. He designed such a system 
And uh, it is the system that he found. This system has no equilibrium. You can check it easily. So is it hidden or self-excited? Uh, the chaotic attractor in this system, is it hidden or self-excited? Obviously, according to Leonov and Kuznetsov definition, such an attractor certainly should be hidden because if it is self-excited, it should have at least one equilibrium in its basin of attraction. However, this, uh, this system has no equilibrium point. So uh, there is nothing to help finding that attractor. So any attractor in such systems are, uh, is uh, certainly hidden. After that paper, uh, me and Professor Esprot, we, and Professor Golpaidani, we designed uh, a list of such system. We found simplest examples of chaotic systems with no equilibrium point. We found 17 such systems. And uh, again, uh, approximately in the same time with the Professor V, uh, Dr. Shung Wang and Professor Guangrong Chen, they found a system with only one stable equilibrium. You know, uh, if you have only one stable equilibrium, that stable equilibrium is in the basin of attraction of itself because it attracts any neighboring point. So if you put the initial condition very near this equilibrium, certainly it's very to that equilibrium and you cannot find any other attractor by the help of this equilibrium point. So if there is any uh, other attractor, certainly that attractor is hidden. They found a simple system and uh, it had only one stable equilibrium. You can see all the eigenvalues have the negative real part, so it is stable. And again, me and Professor Sprout, we designed a list of simplest such systems. And uh, you can see some examples here and some, uh, some of the strange attractors we found. All of them are hidden attractors. However, there is no noticeable difference between the dynamical properties of a hidden attractor and a self-excited attractor. You can see the common period doubling root to chaos in such systems. Uh, no in noticeable difference uh, have been detected, detected yet. And here is the basin of attraction for one of such systems. You know this is the fixed point. So uh, an area around it are attracted to, the, to this equilibrium point. However, there are some areas in uh, this blue area Initial conditions in here lead to uh, one strange attractor. So uh, obviously, according to what I said, all such systems with one stable equilibrium, they are multi-stable because they have one chaotic attractor and one point attractor. There are other works. Uh, most of them wa uh, was, done, was done by Professor Esprud, me and my team. Simple chaotic system with line equilibrium. System chaotic system, uh, simple chaotic systems with plane of equilibria. And even many of the mega stable systems, uh, type one mega stable system, in those in which any attractor is not related to one equilibrium. You can see in here. The red dots are the equilibria of this system. You can see uh, at least for the middle limit cycles, one, two, three, four, five, uh, you, you see middle, uh, limit cycle two, three, and four, they have no connection, they have no relation with any of the equilibrium points. So 60% uh, of the attract of the infinite attractors in this system, in this system, 60% of attractors are hidden uh, and 40% are self-excited. Many other examples can be mentioned like systems with pair of equilibria, surface of equilibria, 
and other exam. And here are the people uh, who, who has done most of such research in the topic of hidden attractors and mega stability. You see here Professor Kuznetsov, Professor Chua, and uh, Professor Leonov. Unfortunately, we lost him. And uh, here, Professor Chen, one of the greatest people in chaos and nonlinear dynamic, Professor Kapitaniak, my mentor and uh, advisor, Professor Esprot, and again, Professor Chen. And uh, Professor Bao and his team, they are the best team in extreme multi stability, Professor Chuan, Professor Mo, and Professor Wu. And my dear friend, Professor Chumbiao Li, he, like me, he is mostly interested in a special chaotic system. And here is uh, a picture of most talented students I have ever seen in my life, uh, my team and my students. And without them, certainly I couldn't do uh, such uh, great research and such great works. Uh, I am very honored to be their supervisor and uh, I think I have the best team in the world. Thank you very much for your attention. If anybody has a question, I am at your service. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, I have a question. Okay. Uh, I don't understand the green plots of the figure you have shown in slide uh, number um, 38, I think, or uh, 15. Um, uh, would you please explain more about these figures, especially the green plots? Uh, I can understand that uh, maybe the blue one are the attractors, but uh, not the green ones. What, what are okay. they? Can you see the plot uh, in my screen? Yes, yes. Uh, you know, the red dots are the equilibria. The blue curves are the steady states and the final states of the system, which are infinite number of limit cycles. The small square dots are the initial conditions I have used to produce this figure. And the uh, green uh, curves are the transient part before re reaching from these initial conditions to the uh, steady st states of the systems. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Uh, is there any other question? Yes, sir, excuse me. Uh, I can hear you, but I cannot see you. If, if I could see you, it was much better. So, sir, sir, I have a question. Okay. Uh, actually, sir, uh, uh, it was a great opportunity uh, for us uh, to think out of the box. I am, uh, I am, uh, I am, I am PhD scholar from uh, ICCBS uh, as a biological science student. Uh, I cannot hear you. Your your voice no, is very No hair. No. Better, better, better. Is it? Or, I, actually, sir, uh, it was a great uh, presentation uh, because it was a great oppor opportunity for uh, for us to think out of the box. Uh, I am from ICCBS, uh, uh, working as a PhD scholar um, as a biological sciences. So here I have just one general question that uh, what we mean from perceptual multi-stability, perce perceptual multi-stability. Perceptual? Yes. You mean uh, in mind and understanding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, indeed, indeed, there are some theories about uh, multi-stable situations in the brain and mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, th there are many evidences about them. However, uh, I haven't worked on them uh, directly, and I've just heard some uh, some things in uh, title of papers and in research gate about that. Uh, I am not expert to uh, have a good explanation about this, but uh, it, it is very strong, strongly comes to mind that 
we have multi-stability in mind because when, for example, you think about something, suddenly your uh, mind changed to another situation. Or, for example, sometimes you see a picture. Yeah. Uh, many of you uh, may have seen pictures. First, you see something and uh, suddenly you see you see something else in that picture there are some famous pictures such pictures in the uh, internet so uh, that that are some those are some evidences of um, existence of multi-stability in in our perception and in mind uh, however uh, i am not expert in that thank you for okay. this interesting question thank you sir thank you Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, my question is: uh, um, This technology, how can use in biological and medical sciences? Uh, the the titles that I've mentioned here, the none of them was related to uh, biology. Uh, it was all related to pure mathematics and chaos and nonlinear dynamics. However, uh, in some other works, uh, we have connect uh, we have connected uh, the topic of chaos and nonlinear dynamics to mathematical uh, to biology and the modeling, for example, uh, the process of attention in mind or uh, some uh, some mental disorders like bipolar disorder or. Uh, ADHD uh, kids or uh, the migraine uh, disease. Uh, we have proposed some models for them uh, because uh, I am I work in biomedical engineering department. So uh, our focus uh, in all projects should be on biomedical aspects. Uh, however, we look at them from the mathematical point of view. Uh, do we have any other question from the audience? Sir, can you explain something about chimera states? Uh, chimera state is not related to this talk, uh, but it is related to complex networks and collective behaviors in complex networks. Uh, very recently, uh, we have published a very important paper uh, in physics reports. The title of that uh, paper is Chimeras. Only one word, Chimeras. You can search in your science direct. It is a very complete and valuable review about Chimeras. I encourage you to read that paper. If you have further questions after that, uh, you can contact me or my students. Uh, many of my students are working in complex networks. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sajad Jafri. This is Dr. Ina Siddiqui from ICCBS. Um, I can see uh, lots of appreciation written in the chat box uh, for you for this excellent talk. Uh, some of our uh, participants are requesting for the PowerPoint presentation. So uh, uh, I, I will email, can I email it to uh, Ms. Kazima? Uh, yes, Dr. Jaffrey, you can send it to me sure, and I'll sure. definitely send it further. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Thank Jaffrey, you so thank much. you. Um, thank you very much, Dr. Jaffrey, for uh, this talk. And I'm really sure, I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, people have benefited from it. And uh, there would be some who would be con contacting you afterwards. And uh, with this, um, I'm very, very grateful and thankful to everybody who joined us and, um, and hoping to see you sometime else uh, in person in Pakistan and Comstech. Again, thank you very much for joining us today. And I am thankful to you and to Comstech uh, for giving me this valuable opportunity. Uh, it was a pleasure. Okay, okay thanks very much. Thank you, Goodbye. everybody.
Good work. Thank you.